when I first did this program, I was an intern and I was beyond broke. Um, and so there was no way I was going to buy organic produce. And by the way, when people say that you need to eat organic to heal, it's just not true. Again, results show it's not the case. If you can afford organic, wonderful. If you can't still eat the vegetables, okay. How can an individual or family eat Ron Hypernourish on a tight food budget? Like if it was $20 a week. So it's, of course, uh, it, $20 a week for a family. So that's, that's going to be a very limited budget, right? When it comes to raw foods. Um, what I can say is the least expensive ways to do this is one, don't worry about whether or not produce is organic. When I first did this program, I was an intern and I was beyond broke. Um, and so there was no way I was going to buy organic produce. In fact, I laughed at my sister-in-law when she, she suggested it. I was like, no, <laughs> can't. So, um, so one, don't worry about whether or not it's organic. Get whatever produce you need. It works. All right. We've had lots of people who are on welfare, who uh, have just followed my free content, who've reversed their diseases and told me all about it over the, over email. And, uh, and they just went with the straight up produce, nothing organic. Okay. Number two, uh, and by the way, when people say that you need to eat organic to heal, it's just not true. Again, results show it's not the case. If you can afford organic, wonderful. If you can't still eat the vegetables, okay? Um, number two, uh, look for places where you can get deals. My mother-in-law is the queen of this. She has found which dollar stores have organic produce and, uh, and power greens and stuff like that because there are dollar stores, 99 cent stores that will carry produce. So she will shop around and she has found dollar stores that have power greens and even organic greens and even flax seeds, uh, 99 cents or a dollar. And she actually talks to the staff to find out when they have their food deliveries. So she shows up first thing in the morning whenever they get their deliveries so she can load up on her greens and her flax seeds. She once came over with like 20 bags of flax and put them in my pantry because uh, she got them for a dollar each and she stocked up on them for everybody. All right, so dollar stores can be really helpful if you have those in your area. Walmart. Walmart now carries produce and even some organic produce. Uh, but again, it doesn't have to be organic, but Walmart is a really great, good place where you can get some deals on things. Um, and also Asian markets I've found have been really good. Uh, they often have a lot of produce that are at cheaper rates than some of the, you know, regular main, um, you know, label markets that you find. Uh, so sometimes if you travel a bit, you can find some markets uh, that you can get bigger produce in, bigger batches of produce in. Um, and, uh, and then the other one would be farmer's markets. I know a lot of times farmer's markets are more expensive up front, but what I have found is if you show up about 30 minutes before they close, you can get deals. So what I used to do when I lived in California and I couldn't really afford uh, a lot of produce, but we were trying to blend and, and make all this stuff, is that I would go to the farmer's market and I'd go 30 minutes before closing and I'd show up with like six shopping bags and I would just say how much for everything you got. And a lot of the times I didn't even know what I was buying. Uh, I Listen, I grew up in New York. I, I didn't have a garden growing up. I don't know what a lot of stuff is uh, even now. So I would just say whatever that is, uh, how much to clear you out. And oftentimes for $40, I'd come home with full, like four or five full shopping bags. And if I didn't know what it was, I'd just blend it. <laughs> And it worked, you know, um, but it was, it was really cool because they don't want to load the stuff back on the truck, whatever they brought with them. They don't want to bring it home. So it does them a favor and it does you a favor to just, if you're not picky to just say like how much to just take home, whatever you got here and you can save a lot of money that way. So hopefully those tips help you out and help the rest of you guys out as well.